Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Carrie. I'm sorry I've been off the grid, so to speak, for a bit. But as you may or may not know, my husband and I just attended our 10th Monster Mania convention in Cherry Hill, New Jersey this past weekend. Today is Thursday, so obviously I'm super delayed in getting my haul video posted for you. I apologize, but I wanted to wait until the light was good, and I've had a kind of crazy couple past couple of days but anywho I just wanted to show you guys all of the things I hauled at Monster Mania this is just a few items and I will be posting links in the drop box for the vendors who I purchased these goodies from with the exception of one that unfortunately I don't know the name of the vendor and I didn't get their business card but if anybody happens to recognize the item when I show it and know the name of the business please 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 leave a comment down below because I would love to shout them out as well but anyway we're going to start right here I purchased once again from the fabulous company Sourpuss Clothing Comp SourpussClothing.com that's easy for me to say. I purchased a gorgeous dress from them that unfortunately they were pulling from the warehouse and it was folded and in a plastic bag and I noticed this morning had a little bit of damage to the back but their customer service is so amazeballs that they immediately said oh my gosh we don't have a replacement for that dress in stock but we do have others in that style so please if you like you're more than welcome to choose another one or we can give you a store credit which was awesome sauce and I'm really 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 so grateful for that because I was so upset like literally I wanted to cry but they're amazing they're the nicest ladies I've dealt with three different ladies at the booth so far over the course of the years I purchased a dress from them once previously as well and I wore it and they were like oh my gosh we're so stoked to see you in it that they act they were so stoked they actually took a picture of me and posted it on their social media which made me feel like a model for the first time in my life and I was so <laughs> excited but anyway so I'm not going to show the dress that I got that was damaged I will later maybe if you guys want to see it it's still wearable but it's pretty noticeable damage and again it was not their fault at all it was just like an incident where like the the back of the material was creased and there's like a big white line on a black dress that was totally no one would have ever known and I should have taken it out of the bag and checked my fault I didn't do that but anyway it's still a beautiful dress in the front and I'm gonna still try to find a way to salvage it but they're sending me a replacement in another style which is so so awesome but anywho I got four pins from them this time around. I've purchased several in the past. My husband actually picked out two of them, and then I picked out the other two. This is the first one. It is the Switchblade Naif, and I love it because it's pink, and it's got a heart on the handle, and it's so freaking awesome. Then we also have... Oh, God, is this the Switchblade knife? No, that, that wasn't this. That was the Switchblade. This one, I forget what kind of knife this is. But again, pink and black with a little heart on the handle. How could you not love that? Obviously, I don't know my weaponry well. Sorry, guys. Then we have this fabulous, very subtle FU pin with the skeleton flipping the bird. And how is that not completely me? I am so going to love rocking this when I'm feeling sassy and confident. Which isn't often. Sassy, yes. Confident, not so much. And then the fourth one I got was this beautiful heart with the spider web. And unfortunately, the glitter's not picking up. It's got glitter in it, and it's so pretty. I don't know how to get the angle better so you can see that it's glittery. Uh, maybe, yeah, up close is maybe further back. I don't know. I hope you guys can see that there's glitter in it. It is so beautiful. FYI, I'm not going to give you prices on anything, guys, because often con prices are different from website prices. Sometimes more, sometimes less. It varies, but you can go to their website and find most of these items if they are still currently available, obviously. That was it from Sourpuss. And then these three stickers were actually promotional stickers. And when I said, oh, my God, I promised my friend Beth that I was going to try to get stickers for her, too. They gave me extras, which was so awesome. But these are just freebies. Can you even? This one says pretty deadly, and I love it. And then you've got the Beastle Cat there with the skull and crossbones. And this one I'm obsessed with until death because it's a death head's, death's head moth very well known from Silence of the Lambs, which is my all-time favorite movie. So, yes, Bethy, these are coming to you. 
because I have an extra set and I went into Oprah voice like I do when I'm excited. But these are coming to you, Bethy. So yay, yay, yay. I hooked you up, girl. Actually, they hooked me up to hook you up. Then just a teeny tiny purchase from our awesome friends, Joe and Kelly at Jellico this time, because I was really trying to limit myself to collecting pins. So I got this awesome devil, which was literally the only pin they have in stock right now that I didn't already own, but I'm obsessed with it. It is so stinking cute. Love, love, love. And then my husband saw this Mothman sticker on the website and was like, oh, my God, could you please put one of these aside for me? Because he didn't know how limited they'd be. It is so adorable. It is literally the Mothman on a freaking skateboard. It is everything. So that was our teeny tiny purchase. We usually buy a lot more from Jellico. They're so, so, so talented. We have a ton of their art and um several of their plushies in our collection and we love joe and kelly so much i call joe sometimes i call him spencer because he technically goes by j spencer shawl but joe is his first name sorry if i'm out in you joe but i i knew him as spencer first so i literally addressed the man as both joe and spencer but i'm talking about the same person and his wife kelly is amazeballs as well and she does cosplay as this amazing Super, super awesome kawaii character, Princess Grotessa. You should definitely check out Princess Grotessa, G-R-O-T-E-S-S-A. -S I will try to remember to post the link in the Dropbox for that as well on Instagram and check out Kelly's amazing cosplay. She She's gorgeous to begin with, but Princess Grotessa is an incredible original character that Kelly came up with, and she did the Princess Cortessa cosplay at the con on the second day. So I have a picture of her both in that and then in her just normal beautiful kawaii form but anyway you should follow her on instagram for sure but that was my jellico purchase then we're gonna come up to my other friend another amazing friend matthew linaham i hope i'm saying it right linaham i believe that's the right pronunciation of his last name if i said it wrong matthew don't hate but you know i love you and his girlfriend carrie is a super super doll they own the company's M. Linaham Art is Matthews and Carrie's is Big Purple Glasses and they're the coolest people. We love them so, so much. But this David Bowie pin of the Ziggy Stardust look I got from Matthew and I'm trying not to angle it up that you get my reflection in it, but it's stunning. And it's so crazy to me. It makes me laugh because Matthew is way younger than I am. I am 45, you guys. Matthew's way, way, way younger than I am. But he has this epic love for, like, new wave artists of the 80s. And I just respect that so much. He has a lot of other amazing, amazing pins. Several other David Bowie styles as well. But this is the one that I chose. Um, definitely check out his website. It is right there, but it will be also... Ah, so you're getting reflection of me. Hey, guys. You can sort of see... Oh, actually... What the heck? Oh, it's the back of my phone. Okay. I'm like, and my little peg thing, you know, that little, what do you call those things? I can't think of the name, but the things everybody has on the back of their phone now that extends it so you can take better selfies. But see, that's why I didn't want to angle it. But there it is, mlinahamart.com. And I will post his links on for other social media websites in the Dropbox as well. But I love Matthew and Carrie. They're so awesome. Nicest people and so talented. And these are his own original creations. He created an entire band called Planet Sound. They have a backstory. There is his Matthew Linaham logo there. There we go. They are called New Odor. And how <laughs> hilarious is that? And yes, can you see what that says, guys? with downloadable songs on the back there's information where you can actually download songs original songs and videos that matthew wrote and a friend of matthew and carrie shot videos for them and oh my god is this not the cutest band in this the galaxy i have to say galaxy because like Seriously, the entire universe could not have a cuter band than this. I think this was Carrie's favorite. I'm pretty sure this is my favorite, but they are all so adorable. They can be purchased separately as well as the whole band, but I was like, how can you not keep the band together? So I love these pins so, 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 so much. So that was that. I'm going to come up to my girlfriend, my one of my bestie, bestie, besties, Mary's items last. But then I want to show you, this is the, the set of pins I got from the vendor that I did not get a card from. I do not know the name of their company, unfortunately. I don't know if Adam Age Industries 
is their company or if that is just who made these pins and they distribute them but yes you guys the entire main cast of fraggle rock i'm obsessed with fraggle rock i have been since i was a little girl and what always slays me about Fraggle Rock merch is for the most part, you are going to find Bing, Bing, Bing. You're going to find Gobo, Red, and Boo, uh, oh God, not Boober, and Wembley. And my two favorite characters just happen to be the two that are not often featured. If you know anything about Fraggle Rock, or even if you don't, Moki was a poet. Moki Fraggle was like the artsy fartsy flower child that wrote poetry and she is literally me in Muppet form so I am obsessed and Moki was a nickname of mine my one of my other besties Elaine and I nicknamed each other I was Moki and she was Boober because Boober among other things loved to do his laundry <laughs> he like was super into doing laundry and I don't know that Elaine loved doing laundry but she I remember in high school like almost at least once a week at lunch, she would go home for school lunch and she would do laundry at lunch. So I just started calling her Boober, which eventually, long story short, became Boo Burke because we used to go bowling all the time. Like Elaine and I did so much fun stuff in high school. One of our favorite things to do is go bowling. And we used our Fraggle nicknames when we would bowl. And one time she accidentally typed Boober with a C at the end. So it came out Boo Burke and hit enter. And it came up on like the big overhead thing at the bowling alley, Boo Burke and Moki. And since then she became Boo Burke. But anyway, yeah. So needless to say, Moki Fraggle and Boober Fraggle have super special places in my heart. Not that I don't love the other three because I do. But generally, I find a lot of stuff just features these three and not the other two. So I loved that it was the whole entire main cast. So I'm so thrilled with that. And then last but not least, you guys... I got so much stuff from Bastion's Boutique, which is my amazing friend Mary's company. Um, this is a Bastion's Boutique bubble bath in the scent Sleepy Time. And it is the most beautiful color. I haven't used any of it yet because I wanted to wait and do the haul video first. And just so you know, lingering in the background right here, this is very important to mention. This is Bubbles the Cross-Eye Kitty at Bubbles the Cross-Eye Kitty on Instagram. Ah, uh, loud train. Okay, whatever. I could pause, but I'm just going to yak right through it. But this is their actual cat, and how freaking adorable is Bubbles. I love him so, so, so much. He's definitely ginger, although the lighting in my room right now, it's not really showing his gingerness, but he's such an adorable boy. Please, 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 if you love animals, definitely follow Bubbles on Insta, and you can check out Mary's amazing pictures of him. He's just such a sweetie but she had these stickers printed up and gave them to people who made purchases during the course of the weekend and also to um to, to kids that were super like you could tell were cat lovers because she's generous like that but anyway there's bubs then i got this camp banana lake do you love the play on Camp Crystal Lake whipped soap and it legit smells exactly exactly to me like banana Laffy Taffy. And I'm trying to say if I can get this open with one hand because there's actually an extra goodie inside. Okay. I have to hit pause for just a second. Hold on guys. Yes, that's my bad, bad, horrible Friday the 13th music. But look at you get a little baby Jason soap inside. I can't even, I mean, how cool is that? I'm literally just opening the lid. I'm getting a whiff of it right now. And oh my gosh. I'm like, just, there's the lid. I'm just sniffing it right now. It smells so amazeballs. I love everything that Mary makes, you guys. But this is definitely, I think, going into my top two favorite products of hers. Although I haven't tried everything I bought yet. So I can't necessarily say. But for scent alone, this is one of my all-time faves. Then we have over here, she came out with brand new body sprays that debuted at Monster Mania. And when she gets her Etsy shop back open, which she usually does a couple days after she gets home from the con because she does work a full-time job. This is her side hustle and her passion and what she would love to do, I think, full-time one day. But right now it is a side hustle, so she hasn't had a chance to get the Etsy shop back up and running. I don't think quite yet, but I got these two body sprays and actually I'm not going to lie. I got three because I, once I smelled the lemongrass, I was like, I'm going to need a backup. So I bought a second 
lemongrass, but they're lemongrass and sweet pear. And the sweet pear, Mary said she created as a dupe for a now retired Victoria's Secret pear scent. I don't remember what she said it was called because I don't think I ever owned it. So I didn't record that in my little blonde brain. But yes, I got these. They smell so, so, so awesome. The pear is amazing too, but lemongrass, I was like, oh my God, you have my heart, lemongrass. I need you. I need you tonight, lemongrass. Then another brand new product. Yes, my lip balm lovers. She created her own lip balms. I know I'm doing weird voice again, but I'm so stoked. There is a cotton candy and a peppermint cream, and she's got her little Bastion's Boutique logo. Can you see how cute that is with the jack-o'-lantern and the little soap? Because she is such a Halloween lover, like legit. If it could be Halloween every day, Mary's life would be complete. But there is cotton candy and peppermint cream, and I would assume, depending on how well these do, she'll come up with more. I haven't even sniffed them yet because they are sealed on the back they have all the ingredients listed which is super super cool so everybody can be aware of like allergen potential allergen alerts and there's her website right there bastion's boutique at etsy or dot etsy.com but again in the drop box i will be posting links for all her, all her social media but they are sealed right now so i haven't even been able to sniff them yet but i mean please you guys know me and lip balm so yes had to have one of each and then there are two more items coming up from Mary. This was so stinking cute. She came up with the fabulous idea of doing bath bombs inside containers. So you get this adorable little jack-o'-lantern and inside is the most luscious smelling pumpkin bath bomb. She had one open that you could smell. There it is on the bottom of the label. But it is so amazing smelling. I cannot wait to take my bath with this. And I'm just going to chuck the whole thing in. Well, I'm going to take the little ghosty out because I want to save the ghosty. And, of course, I will save the jack-o'-lantern when I'm done. But, you guys, this pumpkin scent is so amazing. It's not pumpkin spice. It's like pumpkin pumpkin. It's just so, so, so good. I probably should have bought, like, ten of these. But I got this one here. And another train. And last but not least, you guys, I'm so glad I got a soap because these soaps are sculpted her amazingly talented husband our dear friend john is the most amazing sculptor and he sculpts his own interpretations of iconic characters and icons from movies and she, he does his own original designs as well mary's really hoping to get him to do like a classic halloween icon series of sculpts for her he sculpts his original silicone molds and then Mary uses them to make these beautiful soaps, but in case you are not familiar, this is one of the critters from the movie Critters, which I had to make sure I watched beforehand. She's like, girl, you need to watch this movie and I will give you a critter soap. So I chose this one completely for color because Sky Blue is my fave, as you guys know. This is sea salt soap and I will never use it. I'm going to be honest because it's literally art. It's so beautiful. I highly suggest that if you purchase soaps from Bastion's Boutique, you buy two so that you have one that you can actually use and enjoy and one that you can save forever because it's beautiful um i know you could just take a picture as you know Wee would say take a picture it'll last longer but i just i can't use them i can't i have to have doubles i actually have doubles of sam from trick or treat and i still haven't even used my duplicate sam but i will eventually so i will be able to give you a full review on how amazing the soaps are because i know all the rest of her stuff is fabulous so this was my bastion's boutique haul and i love everything and i can't wait to try it all out and that is it for my monster mania haul this time around you guys oh wait well technically it's not okay I did get, um, my husband and I did get one autograph this time because we ge we generally don't do autographs. We have quite a few and we have in the past, but honestly, we prefer to just do selfies at the table, which the celebs do charge for, which is kind of a bummer, but whatever, that's the way the industry works these days and, you know whatever, fair trade, you know, if somebody can make a buck, they're going to. I can mention... I think three celebrities that I'm 99% sure still do free table photos. One I know for a fact is Sid Haig, the amazing actor who has had such a huge career over the years, but is probably best known to most horror fans for his roles in Rob Zombie's House of a Thousand Corpses and The Devil's Rejects. And there is a third movie in the series coming out soon. I believe it has been completed um or it may be in post-production right now i don't know but it's it's 
going to be coming out hopefully in the near future i'm so so stoked for that but you'd mostly probably know sid for that but he's if look him up on imdb or wikipedia and you will see this man has had such an amazing career but he still does free table photos adam green the director of such wonderful hits as the hatchet series and um the most recent was victor crowley there's hatchet one two and three and victor crowley so there are four in that series he also directed frozen digging up the marrow um he was in the creator i believe of the tv series holliston which i've never seen he does adam green's scary sleepover he's an incredible guy hofstra alumni as am i woo woo for hofstra represent which I thought was so awesome when I found that out. If you happen to know of Hofstra University on Long Island, no, you went there, you know anyone that went there, there are several little gems in his movies referencing Hofstra and places in the vicinity of Hofstra. And it's just so cool because most people don't know that school. So the fact that he went to the same school as me later because I'm an old woman, but um, Adam Green was not at this particular Monster Mania, but I've met him twice in the past and gotten free photos with him, and he's an incredible guy. He also does free autographs, by the way, which I think is so incredibly cool. He's just like the most chill, wonderful, honest, warm guy. I love him. Shout out to Adam Green. He's fabulous. And I believe PJ Soul still does free table photos. I'm not 100% sure about that. But if she charges, it's like 10 bucks or something. I think the two times that I met PJ, I got free table photos with her. Not 100% sure on that. And that, again, could change because, you know, it depends on somebody's financial state at the time. You know, I mean, truth be told, you know, I always like to say that if I become a famous poet, I would never charge for selfies if I was ever famous and able to do book signings and things. I will never, ever, 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 and you can mark my words right now, I am telling you this with all of my heart, never, 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 never charge for autographs. You know what? I would never charge for selfies either. You can mark my words on that too, <laughs> because I just would be so flattered and honored that someone would stand in line to meet me. That's just, that's just me. But anywho, the last thing I wanted to show you that we hauled was um, we did get an autograph and a selfie with the fabulous Lisa Zane, who has done a million things. She's uh, best known to horror fans for Nightmare on Elm Street 9. I want to say it was 9, Freddy's Dead. I'm going to get the photo of her. Hold on just a second so you can see that. Okay, here is Lisa Zane, and she is stunning like this photo is gorgeous but she's even more beautiful in person and there you can see where she signed it hopefully not get my reflection too much but it says to carrie and brian thanks so much lisa zane and she is such a lovely person and she's legit i never realized this until i actually heard her in person and spoke to her she's got the most gorgeous unique unusual voice in the world i never realized it and i don't know how i didn't I don't know if it's just because I hadn't watched her work recently, but she has got the most stunning voice. Like, I even complimented her on it. I said, seriously, legit, Lisa, you need to, like, record audiobooks because I would listen to you read, like, Hop on Pop and Dr. Seuss, like, an entire library. You could read the damn phone book, and I would buy it just to listen to your voice. And she laughed, and she said, you know, I actually would really like to do audiobooks. And she's a singer, which I never knew. So I was directed to go to her website, lisazane.com, plug, plug, because she's a doll. And you can listen to her music on there, and I can't wait to do that. I haven't had a chance to yet. But if her speaking voice is that mellifluous, and by the way, how badass a word is mellifluous? I was a former English major, so I love words so much. And words that sound beautiful to me, like potpourri and mellifluous, are just, I don't know, they, they just get me all excited. I love, I love language. I love the English language. Although potpourri is actually French in origin, I believe. But that's neither here nor there. But anyway, um, yeah, I definitely can't wait to go to Lisa Zane's website and check out her music. We met several celebs. Um, I'm not going to name them all right now because I'm going to brain fart and forget people. But every single person that we met and either took photos with, we did take photos with several celebrities. Um, Ashley Lawrence, Barbara Hershey, um, 
Sid Haig, the aforementioned Sid Haig. Um, I got a photo with Kane Hodder, who this was our fifth time hanging out with Kane. And oh my God, what a lovely man. I'm plugging again. It has nothing to do with my haul video, but you guys, please, 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 I beg of you, check out his documentary to Helen Beck, the Kane Hodder story. It will change your life. I'm so not kidding. Whether you are a horror fan or not, whether you're familiar with his work, he was Jason Voorhees in the... Uh, Friday the 13th part 6 through 10 Jason X and he's one of the most genuinely warm friendly open honest caring fantastic human beings you will ever have the pleasure of meeting in your life but his story is of universal importance I kid you not whether you give a shit about horror or anything to do with Friday the 13th watch his documentary please 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 I beg of you it's so phenomenal my husband I believe rented it from Amazon streaming um I don't know where else it's available I'm almost positive it was Amazon we rented it from but just google it look it up find it rent it watch it please 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 I beg you and come back and let me know what you thought of it afterwards leave comments on this video once you've watched it because it seriously will inspire you and change you in ways you can't imagine and just make you so fucking grateful for your life and everything that you have. I seriously, seriously cannot emphasize enough how powerful and beautiful this movie is. All right, guys, I know I'm just like showing you a still shot while I ramble, but it was really important for me to mention that and, um, and shout out the people that made the weekend so fabulous. Ashley Lawrence, you guys will know best from the Hellraiser series. I legitimately feel like I met a kindred spirit and a heart sister. And I adore Ashley so, so much. Barbara Hershey was phenomenal. She gave some personal, amazing advice to my to me. She, she was warm. My husband and I got several hugs, got to talk to her on several occasions. She actually remembered us from like the day before, which I was blown away by because I never feel like we leave like such a lasting impression. And there's so many people that you know, the actors meet at the cons, but like each day that we'd see her, she would remember us from the day prior. And I just thought that was phenomenal. Gosh, we talked to so many wonderful people, but, um, yeah, we had such an awesome, awesome time and shout out to Dave Hagen, by the way, who is the promoter and runs this convention with his sons, Douglas and David and, um, their entire family. This was such a well-run, well-oiled machine. We had such a blast at this con. We have gone 10 times. This was by far the most pleasurable in so many ways. So shout out to the Hagen family. We had such a wonderful, wonderful experience. We cannot wait to go back in March. Unfortunately, starting next year, we're going to have to limit it to only one con a year where we've been going to both the March and the August every year since 2014. Just for financial reasons, we got hit with some big bills this year and it's going to break our hearts not to be able to go again in August, but who knows? I mean, you know, things happen in life. Maybe we'll win the lottery. <laughs> we'll be able to add the third show in Hunt Valley, Maryland, which is coming up next month. It's September. I don't know the dates. For some reason, I'm thinking it's around 21st, 22nd, 23rd. Whatever weekend falls in that area, I think, is when they're doing it. We've never been able to attend that con again for financial reasons. It's all we can do to save up for two a year. We haven't been able to do three, but God, I would love to. Like, if we if we had unlimited funds, believe me, we would go to all three because it is such a wonderful experience. And to all of my Monster Mania fam... Whoever may be watching this video, I'm not going to name you because, again, I will forget people. You know who you are. Brian and I love and adore you guys so freaking much. You have no idea. Um, as you guys know, I suffer from lifelong depression and anxiety. I've shared it in several videos, not as often, but my husband suffers from bipolar disorder. We are not really social beings in most circumstances. We're homebodies. We are... I don't want to say we're like borderline like reclusive. We do get out and about and, you know, do the daily things that people need to do. We don't have a lot of friends that live nearby. So honestly, most of our friends we stay connected with through social media. And 
but it, it's, it's just extraordinary the way when we're at Monster Mania, we come out of our shelves. We feel so at home. We can be, did I say shelves? I probably did. I meant to say come out of our shelves and I probably said shelves. Maybe I didn't, whatever, rambling again. But we literally come out of our shelves and blossom and bloom at Monster Mania. And that is solely because of the incredible people that we've met there that have made us feel so warm and welcomed and loved. We love all your crazy asses. You are truly our family, our chosen family. And shout out to each and every one of you who is watching this video. Again, you know who you are. We've added some new members this recent, this most recent con. And welcome to our, our lives and our hearts. We adore you. But um, yeah, it's it's a really, really, really special event that so is about so much more than just a shared love of horror movies. That is like almost beside the point. Like we legitimately already booked our trip for March. We do not know one single guest that will be there in terms of the actors. Honestly, it's not even all that important. I mean, there's people that sure we'd love to see again who we've met in the past and new and stars that we've not yet had the chance to meet that we would love to meet at this con, but. Honestly, it's just about the experience as a whole. We would go probably if there were no celebrities there. If it was just like a family reunion with our con family, we would still go because we just love those people so, so much. Meeting the celebrities is just like an added bonus at this point. Sorry, Sniffles. But all right. Sorry for that incredibly long, long, long rambly video. But you guys, you know, when I get started, sometimes I can't stop. But anyway, shout out to all the vendors who I bought these amazing goodies from. My sweet, sweet Mary. The wonderful ladies at Sourpuss. My amazing new friends who I don't know the name of their booth. But again, it was two down from Bastion's Boutique. If you were looking at Bastion's Boutique, two to the right, I believe, was their booth. So Mary, if you know the name of the the people that vended there, please let me know. I would love to shout them out and then share their social media links as well. Of course, shout out to the amazing Matthew. And even though I didn't buy anything from Carrie this time, I always have in the past. I love Matthew and Carrie. They're fabulous. And last but not least, the awesome sauce, Spencer and Kelly. See, I said Spencer this time, or Joe and Kelly at Jelly Co. And oh crap, one last little item. I don't know the name of the vendor I bought this from either, but I got this for a buck because I'm obsessed with Stranger Things and my favorite characters. Well, I have a lot of favorite characters. Obviously, I love Eleven. This reference is Eleven. This is Dustin's hat. But my favorite character, I, I love Holly. I love the little sister. I know it's ridiculous. She doesn't even talk, but I love Holly. And I love Mad Max, who they added for season two. But I got this pin for a buck, and I'm obsessed with it. And sorry that I don't know the name of the vendor that I got this from either. But I just wanted to add that in there. But you guys, I had the best time this weekend, and I cannot wait for March. Thank you so much if you bared with me through this whole crazy long video. Again, I will be doing a separate video on my Sourpush dress when I get my replacement dress. And if you guys would like, I will show you the original dress I purchased as well. And you will see on the back where it is damaged. But again, that was just an honest mistake. They certainly did not intend to send me a damaged, uh, sell me a damaged dress. And I brain farted and didn't look it over because it was wrapped in plastic. So, and, and normally you guys know my OCD. I would have like checked it over at the fine tooth comb. But their customer service is amazeballs. They are taking care of this immediately for me. I love, love, love the ladies at Sourpuss Clothing Company. Um, but yeah, anyway, that is it. Shutting up. Thank you all so, so, so much for watching. And again, um, I can't urge you enough to watch Kane Hodder's documentary to Helen back. Please look for it. You guys, I promise you, you will not be sorry. Thanks so much for watching guys. Have an awesome rest of your day and I'll be back soon with more stuff. Bye guys. Bye.